Alexa, stop. What's up? Oh, lordy, lordy. Isn't that time again? Right at 5 o'clock. On the motherfucking nose. Not playing around anymore. This show is going, uh, it's gonna, this show's going to be properly done. I've, uh, I've taken some applications for a production assistant. Um, I'm feeling pretty positive about that. I got my... Water and coffee. I'm ready to roll. It's Thursday. I'm tired. I am super tired. Um, something. I'm, I'm going to put something up here to kind of express how I felt at work today. There it is. Let's just move that over there. That, that, that's how I felt today at work. Ultimately. I, I, I literally felt like that the entire day. That's me. That's like my survival face. That's like when... Hey, how you doing? All right, I'm gonna say hi to everybody. Like that's my survival face today. I was freaking dying. I, I was like, I do not feel like being at work. It's been raining for like five days straight. There's like a cold front that is over us that must be like as big as Montana. Like it's huge. Like if you live in Montana, you're basically over my state right now, raining on my city. So that sucks. And fuck you. For doing that to me. All right, let's get in here and say hi to everybody. <sighs> Suck my doc tip. What's up, Austin? You guys better be subbing to Austin. That giveaway tomorrow is fantastic. We'll talk about it. Colin, hey, thanks for joining me at Vapex, my man. What's going on? Taking a voop with Smith. I'm gonna take a voop one day with your brother. Scott, what's going on? Josh, Mr. Josh Rhodes in the house. Sizzy's house. Is that how you say it? I think that's how kids say it. In the Shiz house. That's how they say it. Uh, Mr. Bull, what's going down, brother? Easy Rider. Mike, what's happening, my man? Undead Vapor. Good to see you, my buddy. My brother, how you been, man? Uh, Mr. Church. Paul, what's going down? Nick, what's happening? Oh, Drewy Drew. What's up, brother? Joey, what's happening? 
Stew! Every time I see Stew, I think Disco Stew from um, <laughs> from The Simpsons. Disco Stew. <laughs> All right. Paul said, hey to you, my brother. Let's see who am I missing. Who am I missing? Mr. Hey, Doe. What's up? Mr. Z. What's up? Doe Z. What's up, brother? Ruff, what's going down, my man? Anton, how's it going, man? Thanks for so, thanks for joining. Uh, let's see, Tabe, what's up, Frank? What's happening? Anybody else I missed? Anybody? Eddie, hey, Eddie, what's up, man? Glad you're here, man. And Mr. Juan Castillo, how you doing, man? Thanks for joining, guys. Makes me happy you all join me on this. Uh, hey, Freddie, what's going on, man? Good to see you. Uh, makes me happy you guys join me on this Thursday. Vaping elevator guy. I haven't seen you in a minute. Elevator guy, I'm glad you glad you joined today, brother. Um, make myself look proper here. Hold on. Let me get let me get dressed up. Hold on. Eyebrows are perfectly. <laughs> my eyebrows are awful. My wife was like the other day, like my eyebrows were like growing like all over the place. Like literally, I I almost had a comb over that I could use to my eyebrows. I was like, you got to cut this. I was like, cut what? She's like, your eyebrows. They're huge. She's like, you're not going to be one of those old guys that has eyebrows all over the place. Just so you know. You're not going to be him. It's like, well, nature may take another course with that. What's up, Subaru? <laughs> like, nature may take its course. I can't promise anything. I'm pretty hairy, if you haven't noticed. If you ever see me at the beach, you'll be like, that guy's fuck. Ozzy, what's going on, man? Um, if you ever see me at a beach, you'll be like... That guy's fucking hairy. Like, if you don't know it's me, you'll just think I'm some fat, hairy guy. But if you know it's me, you'll be like, that's Scott, and he's awesome. And he looks perfect. <laughs> you hear me? Oh, dude. Last time, dude, last time I went to the beach, I uh, I had a white bathing suit. Like, somehow, like, we got it at Walmart before we went. Like, it was like, it was like, uh, like the Thursday night before we were supposed to leave, like, 11 o'clock. And he's like, you got everything? I was like, yep. She's like, you got this? I was like, yep. She's like, you got that? I was like, yep. She's like, you got a bathing suit? I'm like, no, I don't think so. I was like, I got some shorts I can wear. She's like, you can't wear shorts. You're a grown man. You need a bathing suit. So I was like, okay. So it's like, you know, summertime. So we go up to the Walmart and uh, she's like, pick out a bathing suit. So I'm like looking and I was like, I need like extra large you know because that's like they don't really give you like sizes they don't tell you like the waist size because it's got one of those bands in it all pants should have bands in them by the way bands are fucking awesome they fucking like they basically you can gain weight lose weight you know if you got a poop you just fucking pull them down real quick they're super super convenient and um yeah so i just picked out a bathing suit because it was extra large it was white well white bathing suits if you don't if you've never worn one um, when they get wet, like you can pretty much, uh, pretty much an anatomy lesson for everybody on the beach. Yeah. I was like walking around. Wiener wasn't showing. Wife was like, Pull it, cover yourself. I got a bathing suit on. She's like, you can see it right through it. They actually got a picture. There's a picture of that somewhere of me and my bathing suit. I'm like on the beach. <laughs> Little kids were like staring at me scared. What the fuck wrong with this guy? What's that? Yeah, so I had to go. So, and the moral of the story is: don't buy a white bathing suit. Not because everybody will see your 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 special purpose. <laughs> your special purpose, but because you have to go on vacation and buy one. I had to go down to the store and buy like bathing suit. It was like forty five dollars. I was like, Are you fucking kidding me right now? And it said like Budweiser on it. I don't even drink Budweiser. It's like Budweiser's for pussies. I was like, you got one that says like fucking Seagram's gin. <laughs> Yeah, what is this, Jim Beam? <laughs> oh, oh. <laughs> I don't want this fucking Budweiser. Budweiser is like fucking what I wake up to in the morning. Like, I don't drink that after like 10 o'clock in the morning. What are you talking about? Ah, he said, I want Johnny Drips. Johnny's on my build team. Yeah, Johnny Drips. He makes um, these four wrap. I think they're, the, I, well, I don't, I don't know if I'm allowed to tell. What they are, but it's a four wrap for mech dual. They're fucking badass. I can get giant drip coils. Gotta be on the build team. I uh, I 
suggests that if you want to be on the Band of Brothers build team, it's very difficult to get on. It was not easy at all. And um, it's a lot of builds to get on to qualify. It was, it was not easy. Um, but it's I love it. It's a great build team. I talk to them guys all day long. Our One of our guys on our team, Matt Massey, he might be watching, though. Matt watches. Matt, if you're watching, love you, dude. He is on the cover of... Um, Oh, uh, shoot. I probably can't find it right now. I'll mention it tomorrow. He's on the cover of a vaping magazine this week. His, uh, he did a braid in, the, um, in a build-off um, a few – about a month ago. Uh, he did a braid. It was by far the best build. It was by far the best build. I mean, anybody who builds like that is like, that build is fucking awesome. I, he's going to win. He didn't win. It ended up being kind of a popularity contest, and all the entries were good. All the entries were good. So it wasn't like, you know, it was like they picked a bad entry. The person who won was, it was a nice build. It wasn't as good as Matt's. I mean, everybody who was in the contest was like, looked at Matt's as like, your build's by far the best. Like, it's not even a question. Anybody who builds looked at it and was like, you know how fucking hard that build is? And he fucking pulled it off perfectly, and his photography was amazing. So I love you, Matt. Uh, hey, Steven. Foggy. What's up, dude? Thanks for joining. All right. Um, so today... I got a couple things I'm going to throw in today. If you look in the description, there's a little bit of stuff in there about batteries. I I, uh, I, I got on a, a a kick today where I was just looking about stuff about battery safety, and I think a lot of it is is you know a lot of you guys probably already know um, if you're going to especially if you're going to use Max. I mean, you've got to be very careful, and you've got to uh, do your due diligence when it comes to not only um, taking care of your batteries but purchasing batteries, um, storing them. You know, I mean, there's one thing to know Ohm's law and to be able to because uh, the difference between a regulated and a non-regulated device is at at the very most, like a, a non-regulated like box that you may buy may tell you the volts that you're putting out like on a lipo, but it's not going to tell you, <coughs> excuse me. It's not going to tell you the amperage that you're using and the wattage that you're at and things of that nature. So you've got to be able to figure that stuff out. Um, so I put a link below it to Steam Engine for Ohm's Law. Um, and it's just a basic calculator you can do um, with your batteries to make sure that you can, your batteries can support the amperage that you're trying to get with uh, certain builds. So you, know, you need to know what ohms your, um, your coils come out to. I mean, if you're going to get... Okay, here's a piece of advice. Hey, Grim, thanks for joining, man. Um, if you're going to use a mecular... A mech, mecular? You're going to use a mecular device at the mecula level inside your body, all the molecules, then you're probably fucking awesome. And I want you to come on the show and talk about it. Look at my face. <laughs> That's literally. <laughs> the, picture was, the picture was taken at like two o'clock this afternoon. And I was like, I'm like so over my job right now. Like, <laughs> I, was like I need to capture this emotion with a picture. And I think I did a pretty good job. Because that's, like, exactly how I felt. Just, like, complete, like, abandonment of any fucks. All fucks had left the building. They were gone. All fucks. I was just like, so he come to me and asked me to do something. I'd have been like, it, does no work? How does no work for you? Is no good enough? Or do I, like, need to go off for, like, five minutes? Because I can. I can go off on you for, like, five minutes about it. I think no word. That's a no face right there. Like if you come over to ask me something and I look like that, that's pretty much no. That's pretty much, that that expression sums up no. <laughs> oh god, I cannot wait to get over this cold as I throw everything onto the floor. When I my episode of Hoarders is coming soon, I can't wait. Come to my house. Be like, Scott, do you have any emotional issues? Be like, no, I'm just a fucking slob. I don't like picking up after myself. I think it sucks, and I don't like doing it. Well, when we're going to throw all this stuff away, I'd be like, have at it. Do you know the people? You ever seen orders? Like, they're like, no, I need to go through everything. And it's like, they're going through, like, McDonald's wrappers from, like, 1986. Like, this fish filet. I ate this fish filet, like, the day that I graduated from high school. And, like, I want to keep... I'd be like, fucking throw it away. Like, uh, Scott, there may be some important stuff in here. I see some documents with, like, your social security number on it. I think I see a passport. I'm like, I don't fucking care. Oh, do I? I'll get another one if I need it. I haven't looked for it, obviously. It's in a fucking pile of shit. So obviously, I haven't looked for it, so I probably don't need it. Oh, you guys are horrible. I got You guys get me off track. You get me off track. I'm trying to stay on track. I'm trying to have a show. 
I'm trying to have a show. I'm trying to have a successful show. This show, I want this show to be like, like the vape news. Like I'm a vape newscaster. I even got a coffee cup. I got everything. I got all the props. I got a coffee cup. I got a picture of my face behind me. This side, behind me. I got a black cat eye. I got advertisement. Like I've got all. I've I've checked all the fucking boxes here. I've checked all the boxes. They're checked. batteries using a mech device you need to know ohm's law you need to know also the specs of your batteries you need to know what your batteries can and cannot do you need to do research on batteries you need to find out what batteries suit your type of vaping a very standard good battery that you can use is a sony vtc 5a it is a great battery and it has a great performance it has great performance VTC4 for mechs. Now, if you're using mechs, I kind of like the VTC4. It doesn't really have that much mod, I don't believe, but the amperage on it is fantastic. Um, other things to consider. I wrote stuff down. Like, I'm really like a newscaster. Like, I need a teleprompter where I can read the sauce so I don't have to look down. Um, storing your batteries. Another big thing um, that you need to consider. You need to have some kind of casing. I don't think I have any down here, but what I have are these little rubber casings. You can buy them on eBay. This is the shape of a battery. You put it over top of them, and when you store them, you put them in that. You can also buy plastic cases. They come in two, four, six, eight batteries you can put in there. Put them, when you store them, put, the, put them in that. Um, keep them in a normal place. Like, I know some people say put batteries in the freezer. Some people put batteries like... Like, don't put them, like, next to your fireplace. Be like, eh, this battery's kind of hot. <laughs> it's destroying. It's a chemical reaction. You understand that, right? Batteries are a chemical reaction. So anything you do to, like, change the temperature or, of the battery is not good for it. Like, ah, yeah, battery condoms. There you go, Freddy. All right. So know your batteries. I put a thing to steam engine on my below. I also put a thing to IMR. IMR is a trusted site for batteries. Um, I purchased all my batteries there. Uh, another place to go is to subscribe to Mooch's um, channel on YouTube, which I have below as well. He talks about battery. He does all kinds of testing. If you don't know Battery Mooch um, and you're going to use mech devices, please get acquainted with him very shortly because um, he is going to guide you in the right direction for that type of information. Uh, what else did I want to talk about? Oh, here's one thing, and this can be uh, – this can be argued, I guess, but I, I'm a one-year guy. Like, I buy batteries in bulk once a year. I buy 10 VTC5s, like, in, I think I bought my last batch in, like, September. Like, this September coming up, I'm going to buy 10 more VTC5As. Or if there's a better value or a, better, a different battery that has rated higher, then I'll buy those. But that's what I do. Every year, I take the batteries that I have, and I replace them. Um, as far as, you know, getting rid of your batteries, you really don't want to just throw them in the trash. Like, there's actually places you can go to, like, put your batteries because, like, they're not supposed to go in the trash. I don't, I don't you know. I mean, we've all thrown a battery in the trash. I mean, I mean I've never have because I'm a hoarder, and I just throw them on the ground. And then I have somebody come with a dumpster and pick them all up. I would be, like, the worst episode of Hoarders ever because the drama in Hoarders, first off, it's shock. So they try to show you the house, right? They try to show you the house, and, like, you're like, oh, my God, look at this fucking house. It's so awful. They show you, like, the people in hazmat suits. Like, if somebody has to wear a fucking hazmat suit to come into your house, this is, okay, this is a rule. This is Scott's rule number 568. If somebody has to come into your house with a hazmat suit on to, to fucking be in your house, you have to kill yourself. I'm sorry. You have to kill yourself immediately. We have a special guest. Hold on. Does your viewers want to see the fat Scott? No, the viewers do not want to see the fat Scott. That's a pic that's our wedding picture. You want to see Fat Scott with a wedding picture? There it is. Fat Scott. I was fucking hammered. Fat you, as hell. Can you tell that can you tell that I was drunk in that picture? I was fucking hammered. Yeah, you were. Me, I was fucking hammered in that picture. Hold up. Is that a good view? There's Fat Scott. Look at that. I look like I ate me. And you're drunk. Oh, I was fucking hammered. I, I think I probably had seventy five <laughs> drinks that day. I probably had how many drinks do you think I had that day, Mama? Oh my god. Seven o'clock in the morning till. She's not an alcoholic though. I am. She's really not. She doesn't even drink. <laughs> but I drank like seventy five drinks that day. Like I remember, like the uh, the place we got married at, the bar wasn't open yet. I went behind the bar and was making drinks for myself. <laughs> Some lady walked up. She's like, "What are you doing?" I was like, 
I'm getting married. What are you doing? She's like, I don't think you're supposed to be back there. I was like, I think I am. She just left me alone. <laughs> All you gotta do is act like you're supposed to be there. So I was like, she's like, you're not, you're not supposed to be back there. I was like, yes, I am. Is that, did Greg join? Hey, Greg. Thanks for joining, man. Good to see you, bud. All right. Batteries. Another thing about batteries. Uh, so one-year replacement. Check them for damage every time you use them. Look for dimples. Look for cuts in the wraps. Buy battery wraps. If you don't have battery, if you have 18650 batteries and you don't have battery wraps, go to eBay and buy a couple dozen battery wraps for like 99 cents. Um, I put a vi link to a video of a guy. It's not really, wasn't had didn't have that many views, but I really thought what he said was like pretty accurate. And he, he uh, so check that out. But he shows you how to use a hair dryer. You basically just rip the wrap off. You take you take one, you, you put it in the middle there, take a hair dryer, and basically melt it onto the battery. It's like fucking super easy. Like I could fucking do it. If I can fucking do it, you can do it. So no fucking excuses. Don't blow yourself up. That's the moral of this. Don't blow yourself up. Blowing yourself up doesn't help anything. It certainly doesn't help you. You know, because you're blown up. Like blow, and especially like when you're using it, it's like right next to your face. So it's not like you're going to blow like the back of your leg up where nobody can fucking see. You're blowing your face up. Nobody wants a blown up face. Literally. That's like last on things that I want. Like if I made a list of things I don't want, my blown up face is like probably in the top three. You know? I, I can't even think of another two like right off the top of my head. Maybe like a Backstreet Boys reunion tour. That'd probably be like number two. <laughs> Backstreet Boys are back. That's like I'm gonna fucking shoot myself. See that. All right, what else on my list? I'm like a newscaster. Watch this. Watch this. Newscaster move. Flip into the next story. This is Vape at Five. This is your Vape at Five. This is your Vaping Five experience. The Black Cat. Or Scott. Whatever you want to call me. Either one. I really don't care. That picture of me is like freaking me out, dude. It's starting to freak me out. I might take it down in a minute, so enjoy it while it lasts. Hope you guys like Fat Scott. I have more pictures of Fat Scott. Fat Scott got fat. Like, I didn't like realize how fat I was <laughs> until like I like would put on pants and be like, Jesus. Like, these pants have fit me for like 15 years. <laughs> they don't fit me anymore. But when, you're, when your chloretic intake is like, I was literally drinking like probably 20 beers a day and like three fourths of a fifth of whatever I get my hands on. Plus like shots. I would I had like little shots I'd carry around with me. I was like, a, I was a professional alcoholic. Like I did not fuck around. When I say I was a pro alcoholic. I mean, I did not leave anything to chance in my alcoholism. It's a fucking pro. Yeah, I stopped drinking. I lost like 40 pounds in like two months. It was like the weight, weight just fell off me. And I eat whatever I want. Like, I'm not, like, my whole family's, like, kind of tall and lean. Like, I just, I can eat whatever I want. I don't really gain. I, gain. I got, 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 like, a belly for, like, an old person. Why am I talking about this? You make a hell of a telemarketer. <laughs> I'm fucking Greg. <laughs> Sorry for Greg in timeout. <laughs> You're goddamn right. I'm going to call and sell you some goddamn asphalt or something, Greg. Let me find out your fucking number. Let me find your fucking number, dude. You'll have a whole fucking truckload of asphalt dropped off of your house by the end of the week. All right. So what else do we got for this week? All right. So I already mentioned it. I mentioned it. I've already mentioned this. I'm going to mention it again. You know why I'm going to mention it again? Because it's very important. And you know why it's very important? Because this weekend, this is the David Copperfield of weekends. This weekend is magical. This weekend is magic and fucking unicorns. Seriously, you're going to see unicorns this weekend, but you've got to watch. First, tomorrow, 5 o'clock, Vape at 5 has a giveaway. We are giving away, and we're going to have winners. We got, he put his fucking phone number up there. Did he just put his fucking phone number up there? <laughs> uh, don't make me go through every goddamn area code in the United States. I'll start, I'll start today. I'll start in Maine. I'll work my way across the whole fucking United States. Every goddamn zip code. Every code. I'll call every single fucking one. Greg. Don't test my resolve, Greg. Don't test it! Asphalt. 
Tomorrow, we have a gigantic giveaway on the Free Friday. I've got, and I, I've only got like eight entries on, eight or nine entries on the Name Tuesday. I've got one that I like, um, that I'm prob, but I can, I can be swayed. Get your entries in. If I don't get 10 entries, I'm not giving anything away. I'm just, then J Mr. Josh Rhodes, who's supplying it, we're just going to take it off the list. I'll take it right off the fucking list. I will take it off the list. You know how easily I can take it off the list when we find my pen? Off the list. <laughs> you get shit. Then we have the other giveaway from uh, Suck My doc, doc Tip, Austin Vapes a Lot. Um, that giveaway is a dead rabbit and a door e-liquid. That is going to be done tomorrow. More than likely, it will be done through trivia. Um, it will be trivia about this, this, <clears throat> this week's show. Um, one of the shows, I'll pick four or five things I like. And we'll do trivia. Last time I did it, I did it as a speed trivia. I don't really like that because I think people are lagging. So I'm not going to do it that way. So everybody is going to get an opportunity to answer. We're just going to go through until we will it down to two, three people. I'll ask a final question. The guy who gets it right when. Guy or girl. Because girls watch the show. I'm very popular with the ladies. Very popular with the ladies. I don't know if you knew. Put this collar down. I look like a dick. Um, yeah. So whoever wins, I'm going to win a uh, dead rabbit and a 30 mil of a door e liquid. So you guys just name the damn Tuesday. Name the Tuesday! For Christ's sakes. I've only mentioned it three times now. Nobody's fucking doing it. I got like seven, like eight entries. The entries are good. And the people who did it, I love. I love you guys. You guys have moved to the top of my list. Black Cat Fam. You guys are like close uncles now or close to aunts. The Black Cat fan. Ones who haven't done it. You guys are like stepkids. I love my stepkids. So you're alright. Just don't ask me for money. Because you won't get any. You'll just get that look. That's what you'll get. Then, after that, we have a builder's only version of Tommy and Friends on Tommy Vapor's channel at 11 o'clock Eastern Time. Tommy Vapor's channel, 11 o'clock Eastern Time. We have a builders only show. It's going to be fucking huge. It is literally probably the best builders panel that I've ever seen. Let me let me just mention who's on. And and honestly, you can just omit me from this list, but let me tell you who's on. I'm on it. I'm on I like somehow weaseled my way onto this, onto this fucking list. <laughs> I just weaseled my way in. I'm like <laughs> getting ready to shut the door. I'm like, hey. Doors get ready to shut. Just kind of put my head in. I'm like, hey, I'm here. They're like, oh, you're Scott. I'm like, come on. Get in here. I weasel my way in completely. But listen to who's on this fucking list. Freddy, clean as fuck coils. Baddest fuck. Rambo. Fucking R Rambo, right? I, I'm, I've, never, I've never sat down in a car. So I'm like so excited to hang out with him. Yeti. Yeti Wire. The fucking man. You may know this guy, and you may not. You may not know him. If you don't know him. Seriously, if you don't know this guy and you're watching my channel, seriously, I want to, I want you to take your fist just like this, and then I want you to bash yourself in the face with it as hard as you can. You ready? Nick Devine is going to be there. And the one and only Vapry, who if you haven't seen a show with Vapry, Vapry's fucking funny as hell. It's going to be a great show. Then you got Tommy. Tommy's going to be quarterbacking it. Tommy's going to have a hard time controlling us. We're out of control. You're bringing on some crazy motherfuckers tomorrow, Tommy. I hope you know that. Hey, Frank. Thanks for joining, man. Hey, what's up, Giz? How you doing? It is going to be an absolutely fantastic show. It really is. I'm so excited. I can't wait. Um, and then on Saturday night, this is a great weekend, for really, guys. Saturday night, we're bringing great entertainment to you guys. This is fantastic. <clears throat> Saturday night is Drop the Shame. Getty and I will have a very special guest, Mr. M. Turk. I spoke with him today and confirmed. Really didn't speak to him. I like sent a bunch of messages. He's like, back, okay. It's like, oh, okay. And okay from M. Turk is okay with me. I was like, that's fine. See you Saturday. So Saturday, 7 p.m. on uh, Yeti's Uncle's channel, 7 p.m. Eastern time is Drop the Shame. I've been gabbing now for like 25 minutes. Like, I, I did just gab, 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 gab. Like, if I don't forget to actually build something, I have to, like, remind myself. I can literally sit here and just gab. How do you enter the name Tuesday? Taking a Voop Smith, that is a fantastic question. And I'm actually very glad you asked it because I think some people don't know how to enter it. 
You must belong in the Instagrams. You might have to. You have to follow me on the Instagrams. I'm Black Hat White Face on the Insta- Instagram. Um, I have a post there. It is a picture of the uh, Blitzen RTA. It's a picture of like several of them. In that picture, you need to repost that picture using repost. Okay. In the caption of the picture, you're going to put a name for Tuesday. It can be Taco Tuesday. There's been a lot of good ones. It could be Terrific Tuesday. It'd be Terrifying Tuesday. Give me a name for the Tuesday show. Okay. Give me a name for the Tuesday show. The winner of that show will be... <laughs> you're amazing, Scott. I know this. Fucking amazing. <laughs> amazing Tuesday. <laughs> the amazing Tuesday with Scott. I just show up and like to stare at the sky. What is Scott doing? He's just wondering about the amazing things he's going to do the rest of the fucking week. No, he's just stoned. I got to get rid of this picture. <laughs> it's been up too long. There we go. All right. You take that picture that I put on the Instagrams. You repost it on the Instagrams. You tag hashtag... You know, the fucking number sign, whatever that thing is. And you make it Black Cat Fam. Black Cat F-A-M. Or, and, and, you can put at Black Cat White Face or something, just so I fucking see it. And I have to be able to, if it's hashtag, then I can search it out and I can find it. And that way, I'll know that you entered and I will, you will qualify to win. The Blitz and RTA. And a set of coils by the one and only Clean as Fuck Coils Freddy, who will be on Tommy Vapors tomorrow at 11 o'clock. With me. I'll weasel my fucking way into that one, didn't I? They're not going to be on there. They're like, oh, what, Scott's here? Like, yeah, fucking here, dude. What are you guys now? <laughs> Got my own show. You seen it? It's on TV. On the YouTubes. <laughs> oh, shit. I fucking crack myself. So I made a... Uh, what the fuck was in my mouth? I made a, uh, a uh, I framed up a, a, not framed, I made a fucking staple, some ribbon stack here, uh, off camera. I did a little off camera work, a little prep work before I came on, I had a little extra time. Normally I just do it in front of you guys, but I stacked ribbon yesterday, you guys know how to fucking do it. If you don't know how to do it, uh, I'll probably do it a thousand times more over the next months, whatever, how long I do this show. It's going to be hard. Like, if you think about doing a show every single day. And trying to keep like the material kind of fresh. That'd be hard. That'd be a lot. I'm gonna do a lot of bullshitting to keep this thing going for like an extended amount of time. Like I may have to like I don't know what I'm gonna do. I'll have to do like a fucking weather report. Weather reports are good because the weather's always changing. You know what I mean? So it's like that may be the, that may be the, the road that we go down. Nobody will show up for that because the weather's different everywhere. How am I gonna do a weather report for the world? Although the world is just where I live, pretty much. If you're not where I live, then you're not part of the world. <laughs> all right. Let me get Jacob all tightened up. Jacob Jacob and I have been getting along a lot better lately. We had a talk, a little heart-to-heart, coming to Jesus meeting. And Jacob, my drill chuck. internet dude what am i gonna do i need i need okay so right now i need to hire a production assistant and i need i'm a network engineer like i should be able to figure this out i'm just too lazy to actually like do anything about it this was i think jacob did it steven i think you're right i think it was jacob jacob is like jacob is like the exorcist he's like in everything around he's like oh you're gonna talk about me motherfucker all right let me just shut your fucking internet off how about that I hope I'm streaming. Am I streaming? Can you see me? <laughs> oh, shit. Hold on. <laughs> Let me see. It's actually fucking working. Oh, that's the great thing about doing live shows. Oh, yeah. You're back. Okay, I'm back. <sighs> what a relief. Till it drops again. We I called my internet company today. They're like, ah, you know, um, your house may be too big. I'm like, dude, listen, I work in this field. I know 
what the fuck I'm talking about. House is not too big. I was like, I'm losing internet connection. I'm not losing connection to my Wi-Fi. My Wi-Fi is fine. I'm losing connection to the fucking internet. And I drove down there and I kicked his ass. <laughs> so like, he's like some 20-year-old kid. It's like, fucking, look, dude, I don't fucking care about your... Like, literally, that's what he wanted to say. Like, I don't give a fuck if you got internet or not. I got lunch in fucking 30 minutes, and I got, like, pizza rolls. So I'm fucking... <laughs> Life is good here. Fuck your internet, and fuck you. That's what he was thinking. The whole time, like, trying to question him. He's like, I don't... He's like, I have to question him. I'm like, you guys use what? Like, wire shark to fucking jet test this out? Like, what are you using over there? He's like, uh, I hit a button, and it displays that your internet is working. And that's all I need to know. And that means it's working. So go fuck yourself. <laughs> oh, don't you wish anybody who works in customer service, don't you wish you could just be like, um, actually, no, I don't really give a fuck about that. And you can go fuck yourself. How's that sound? So, does that work for you? Does go fuck yourself work for you? I hope it does. That's what you're getting. That's what you're getting today. All right, so let's get this on here. Parallel Clapton. Parallel Clapton's best way to, um, I did it yesterday doing the bag method. Today I'm going to do the dual spool. Um, it is the best way to stagger. Um, it, your stagger will come out perfect. You do waste wire. Um, what I suggest is that if you're going to do it on your higher gauges, go onto eBay and get some of the, um, go to, um, ah, gosh, I can't remember his damn name. Um, it's escaping me right now. But get some cheap wire is basically what I'm going to tell you. Get Master of Clouds off Amazon. But get high gauge, cheap ass wire. Um, and that way, when you do waste it, you won't feel as bad about wasting it. So I got my one spool there. I'm going to take my other spool. I'm going to tie it on. I'm going to put it in front of the other spool. Grab that here. And this is my stainless steel that I want to use. This is my... Uh, Coil Society, which is very good wire. I'm trying to get it on here without wrapping it over top of the other one. All right. Cut that. Okay, so I got that there. This one came loose a little bit. Let me just see if I can get this one sorted out with one hand. Now, you'll see how I have my spools. I have them both. Ah, oh, you can't see it. So basically what I did was, the way my spools are, the bottom part of my spools are facing each other on the inside. So the outside of my spools, if you see them here, they both look like that. So that's how I do it. Now, I have them both lined up correctly. Holding on to it here. I'm just going to put my finger right there. I'm gonna pull it tight. All right. So... Roll these up just a touch. Thing about it is, you got to roll them. Take your time getting it set up, because trust me, it, if you take your time and get it set up correctly, when you actually do it, let me get these a little closer together on my hand. All right, there we go. So, guess here. Oops, this one came loose. All right, so. There, move this one down just a little bit. There we go. Leave it a little bit. There we go. All right. So I got them lined up. All right. So we'll get a hold of it here, and now we just let it rip. Let me move my slider out of the way. All right. So I got them lined up first, like half inch. I typically, like, like I said, I get this like one out two times. Um, but I've got a really good start on it, so I'll probably get it. Um, get them lined up. Waste like the first half inch. Just get them lined up. Once you got them lined up, just let it roll. Just leave, you have to lead them a little bit because you want you don't want them land on top of each other.
good. So that's about six inches worth. So let's cut this one short because that's the one I'm keeping. Cut that one. All right, so let me clean these up real quick before I move on. This one here, so put it back, put a piece of tape on it. So that is dual spooling. I don't. I know I didn't really explain much to it. There really isn't a whole lot to explain. Um, just the way you get, you have to hold both spools. You have to lead it a little bit when you're doing it, and you have to keep them by each other. And how I keep them by each other is I keep my finger up and let the wire come off of my finger. Um, there's a really good video by Jubster on how to do it. Give it a watch. He does a lot more in depth than I do, but that's the key principles to it. So let's take the one and we'll get the other one off of here. Put this back. All right, so let me grab this with my pliers and we'll get this one off of here. All right, let's speed this up. Grab this here with my pliers. I can already tell the other one looks better. I can already tell it looks better. All right. So that's that. Take this and just discard it. Oh, it looks, damn, it looks pretty good too. Well, this one might be better, actually. This one looks pretty good. Yeah, look, this one looks it looks pretty good. I'm actually I got it. I'm so you know I, I was uh, I wasn't like fully confident I'd get it because I like I said I get it like one one out two times. Oh, it's not even funny. It's not even funny. It's not even funny anymore. It really isn't. It, it's it, it, it's sad. It's really sad. Scott, no one sees you. I know, Frank. I wonder how much how much how much did I lose? How much did I how much did, how much was I gone for? Did you see me finish? Did you see me finish? Spork Life wants a wants a wrench. Uh, hide user. It says hide user. Head moderator. There you go. All right. Okay. So that's that. I don't know what I. Okay. Yeah. Tell your neighbors to upgrade the internet. <laughs> oh shit. All right. Giz, only if you give me a wrench to your show. I'm not a wrench on you. Give me a wrench so I can post in my damn my link to my YouTube page. I get more, more subscribers. Ow! Fuck! Cut myself. All right, I made two frame staples. Or two staggered staples. Uh, both of them were ten. One I did was five, and one I did was four. So no, I did three. So I did three and five. Awesome wrench. Got to make me a wrench on yours too, Giz, when you have a show. All right. That's the building portion. That was the building portion. I hope you got something from it. Because um, uh, I was pretty awesome. I actually got the dual spool. So I'm pretty awesome right now. Um, I am subscribed. Am I not subscribed? I think I am subscribed. Black Cat Fam, that's right. Black Cat Fam, where you come to see me cut in and out and make bad jokes for one hour. I can see it start to do it again. It started, it started to drop again. So I better do my exit now. Uh, my life. Uh, my, you know, I, I, I just don't get any breaks. I just really just don't get any breaks in this whole this whole game of life. I just don't get any breaks. <laughs> 
Especially when it comes to my internet. Baby, try decaf. Shut up, Vapix. I gotta be hyped for this show. Dude, if I went to drink a cup of coffee before I came on here, I'd fall asleep. You saw my face. That's like how motivated I was coming out. I was like, ugh. I was like, gonna lay down and go to sleep. Eat. I had chicken wings yesterday. It's fantastic. I, I think I, I, I think I should eat. Do you ever watch competitive eating? I, I don't have a Nokia. I have a Canon 1300D. I do what? T tomorrow? Okay, Fog Life tomorrow at 6.30 Central. 7.30. I'll watch it. I'll be there. I'll watch it, Spork. Giz. You guys got to be crazy to watch me. You got to be fucking crazy. I'm pretty funny, though. And I was going to oil my swivels, and I completely forgot. I like sat it over here. I was like, I'll just oil these for a second. Completely forgot. Um. All right, so... We talked about tomorrow. We talked about this weekend. It is going to be. I'll watch. I always watch your show, Giz. Talking about. You're out there. You're on the same time as Fresh is. He might be on the same time as Fresh is. 7 30 tomorrow, Eastern Time on Gizzard Stew on Spork Life. Subscribe to him, please. Juan, take care, brother. <clears throat> so, tomorrow night, uh, we have my show at 5 o'clock, the giveaway. Please go and do the <laughs> Name Tuesday thing. Please. Please. Um, and then after that, Giz is on at 7.30 Eastern Time, 6.30 Central uh, on his channel, Spork Life. And, of course, tomorrow night, The Building Show with Tommy. I mentioned Saturday, 7.30. Drop the shame. 7 o'clock. Drop the shame. Eastern Time. Love all you guys. Uh, it means the world to me that you guys come here and sit with me for an hour and listen to me babble. 50 minutes, whatever it is. Um, today we did a dual spool. We talked about batteries. Um, and battery safety. Take, take that seriously.